Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're shooting another video for YouTube and uh, today we're out and about removing our autumn treatments from the beehives. Uh, this year we've used Apistan, uh, which here in the UK is an authorised treatment and it has a treatment period of six to eight weeks and we're now at the eight week period for the longest treatment so from this point on we need to start stripping out these uh, treatment strips taking them out nice and gently and removing them before they're in the colonies for too long and it can cause a couple of issues um, particularly with apistan so apistan is known to um, create some resistance in varroa mites so you have to follow the treatment period uh, closely and uh, for apistan it's six to eight weeks so these are at that eight week stage and the other colonies kind of follow on uh, in a week or two after they were put in so we can from this point go around all of our colonies and start taking these treatments out knowing that they've been in the colonies for the appropriate length of time and it's important with uh, any treatments that you're using and this is particularly important for beginner beekeepers uh, do check the instructions and do make a note of the treatment period that that treatment needs to be in the colony for and get it out before you kind of overrun of that treatment period. Uh, the other thing to say is that with the active ingredient in the apistan it can leave some residue in the wax as well so we don't want to leave it in over a maybe 12 week period or all winter and then take it out because it could leave some residue in in the wax uh, but more importantly we don't want the varroa mites to build up a resistance. Now we're not going to be using apistan again uh, probably for four or five or six years so we we only use apistan intermittently so that we hopefully don't have that resistance building up in the varroa mites and it's a very simple straightforward process uh, if you've been across to our patreon page uh, and that's our subscription site where uh, i can uh, give a lot more help and mentoring and we've also got our videos and podcasts there you will have seen us putting these strips in uh, there's a link in the description beneath the video so do take a look at that if you want to have a look at uh, the whole process of these strips going in and we also have in excess of 500 videos there so if you're a beginner beekeeper um, you might want to go across and just take a look at that because we've got a wealth of information for you from the very beginning of beekeeping, setting up a nuke all the way through to honey production, queen rearing, disease checks, all manner of things. So do take a look at that if you're interested in uh, learning a bit more about your beekeeping. So really all we need to do now is to get our bee suits on uh, light the smoker and go down to the hives. It's a fabulous day. There's quite a lot of warmth in the sun. It's still quite warm, uh, but there's a very chilly breeze. I would imagine the temperature today is probably only 12 or 13 degrees. Uh, so there is a cool breeze. So we don't want to be inspecting the bees. We're not going to do any form of inspection. We are simply going to take out the um, treatment strips nice and gently so that we're not rolling bees if for instance the queen is walking across the strip you don't want to yank it out of the beehive and damage your queen so nice and gently but we'll show you how we do that when we're at the hive so here's our first colony uh, a lot of the boxes that we've got here these are called techno set hives uh, again we've featured them in our patreon uh, page quite a lot so do take a look at those but um, a lot of these are set up as nukes to overwinter so um, I'm not anticipating many full-size colonies in in this position so uh, yeah so this is a nuke 
Uh, so a nucleus colony. Uh, again, for the beginners out there, uh, maybe a five or six frame colony. We've got plenty of bees in here and uh, they've got lots of food. Now the Apistan treatment is just here. So we just loosen it from the top and then just gradually wiggle it up to remove it. And there it comes out nice and clean. We can put that to one side and then close them up nice and quickly. We want to get them closed up quickly so that they don't chill. And with the cold breeze that we've got, we don't want them to get overly cold. So uh, we're not inspecting them, we're just removing treatments. So let's move on and have a look at another one. Okay, so this uh, again, I think is a nuke colony. This is a honey pour hive. Again, for those of you that haven't seen our videos for a while, um, I really rate these as a hive. I like these. They're a Langstroth hive and they're, um, they're probably one of my favorites. But don't be overly concerned if the bees are a little bit active and fly up at you um, because it is cold. Um, they do sometimes get a little bit grumpy. Now, again, we have one strip in here. So this was a nucleus colony, but they've actually expanded quite, uh, quite well. So we just need to loosen, let me come this side and you'll see what I'm doing. Loosen the strip, and just ease it up. They've actually stuck it in there quite well, but a little tug, it'll come off. And you can see they've actually started putting some uh, comb on it and uh, stored honey against it. So well, that's okay, that's fine, we can remove that. And we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, there's seven frames with stores in, so that's good. Now we'll remove the feeder as well now because we're not going to feed them any liquid feed and they've got plenty of stores without looking at the frame. So I can look down into the gaps between the frames, the seams between the frames, and actually see that there's quite a lot of stored food there. So we'll just tap these bees off, shake the bees off, move that away, and then we've got our cover board, which is actually just a piece of perspex that sits on the top. And you'll notice that I didn't clean away all of the wax that's on the top of the frames. I'm going to leave that, so uh, the effect that that has is it gives the bees a space where they can climb over the top bars and down the other side of the frame. And that's really important because it will allow the bees easy access to their food stores without having to go to the bottom of the frames and then come all the way back up to the top. And we'll just pop this strap back on and then uh, then we're done so it's important as I said we get these treatments out and sometimes the bees can be a little bit temperamental at this time of the year um, so this again is another nuke so we'll try and take this out so a single strip for nukes, we don't need two strips in, but um, just a small, almost half size, third size colony. And you can see the bees aren't particularly happy today at being opened up and disrupted. So uh, we need to just sort them out as quickly as we can and then get them closed up again. Try not to trap bees in the roof if you can. So we'll tap those out and then we can get the roof back on and they can settle down again quite quickly. A little bit of smoke, final one for today. Let's have a look. Um, again, this was a nuke and they've obviously grown really well into the autumn. Plenty of smoke, don't be frightened of smoking them because the bees will come up. They don't really want to be disturbed. Looks like we've got some frames out of position here, sagging and the like, but we'll leave those until the spring. We're not going to mess around with them and upset the bees too much today. We want to just gently bring that treatment out 
there we are, there's our treatment strip. And that's good to be disposed of. Do check locally as to what you can and can't do in terms of disposal of uh, your treatment. Uh, and if in doubt, speak to your local council. Um, but they're all looking pretty good, I have to say. So I'm pleased with those. And one last thing that I'll do with these, that if you've, uh, if you've had a chance to look at our Patreon videos, then you will have seen me doing this recently, and that's just hefting the box, just to check for the food. So we put our hand under the floor at the back, and we just lift the box so that we can feel, judge the weight of it. And as I lift that, that's really quite heavy. So I'm really pleased that these bees are growing. They're going to be settled in for the winter. And judging by that, they're not going to need any food at all. But we will come back and check on them uh, in the coming months before we get through to the spring. So don't forget to pick up your rubbish. Um, make sure you dispose of them properly. And uh, we're going to head off and remove all of the treatments from our bees um, this afternoon and uh, over the next few days. And we'll be recording some more videos for you over the winter, hopefully starting with some basics for all of the beginner beekeepers out there and then progressing through into the season uh, with um, really a view of what we're up to as we go into the next season. Uh, also, on our Patreon page, we'll be covering off quite a lot of microscopy this autumn and winter. So if you're interested in taking a look at that, or in fact looking at the rest of our content, then please do take a look at our Patreon page. But if not, we'll catch up next time. Thanks for watching.